What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel for this really quick video and today we'll be talking about visual cubes. This season, there's a lot of complaints about their jump shots getting patched, that's why they're missing their shots, which I talked about in this video here. And there are some that are blaming the visual cues. They said that 2K changed how visual cue works, which caused them to miss their shots. So that's the main topic in this video here. By the way, after watching, please leave any feedback and please leave any recommendation for a topic. These topics here just came from comment requests, so just let me know, I'll see what I can do. So now let's get right into it. So before we go right into the main topic, let's have a quick recap first on how Visual Queue works. So basically, Visual Queue settings is like your release time settings from last year, but instead of basing everything to timing, now everything will be based on the visual cues of your jump shot. So for example, if you chose push, then even if you change your jump shot or maybe whoever player is taking the shot on your my team mode, the visual cues will be the same. Meaning, you'll be hunting for the same part of the animation on every shot you take. I think the problem with release time settings last year is if you change your jump shot, you have to study the visual cues again because sometimes the visual cues doesn't land on the same place. Like sometimes there's some tiny differences on each jump shot animations. So basically, release will be when the ball is right on your fingertips. Push will be a couple of frames after you start pushing the ball from your forehead. Set point is right before you start pushing the ball. With jump though, it is really hard to tell what part of the animation is it. It's not on the apex of the jump, it's not when you leave the floor, but it's somewhere at the middle. One more aspect that you need to know about visual cues is that it's not always linear. In here, the gaps between visual cue points on Steph's jump shot are pretty much the same. There might be some small differences in there, but when you look at it, it's pretty linear. With Katie though, there's a big gap between jump and set point. At first, I thought that maybe there was something wrong, but I tried it a lot of times and I got the same results. And here you can see, that's the gap between jump and set point, right? And here's the gap between set point and push. If I put this on the chart, you can notice that it's not linear not like Curry's. Which makes sense to be honest because you can notice that when KD shoots in real life, it usually takes him a while to bring the ball to his forehead. Probably it's because of the wingspan. So that's why there's a big gap between jump and set point. Now, it might look that it's a bad thing that you know, some jump shots doesn't have linear cues, but if you think about it, it's a good thing because it means that if you chose push, it means that no matter what jump shot you chose, you will be hunting for the same part of the animation. At the end of the day, most likely you'll base everything on the visual cues or animations anyway, because you are taking off your jump shot meter. Now for the next one, you're probably wondering now that if release cue will require longer time on holding the shoot button than jump, does that mean that there will be more challenge? <laughs> that's a really great question, but it doesn't really affect the challenge. And here you can see that's release and that's jump, and even you can notice that the jump finished first, it still won't affect the coverage. You can notice as well that even one meter finished first, their animations are still the same. And there you can see 11% coverage for both. I tested a lot of samples and their averages are pretty much the same. Your challenges won't be affected. The ones that will affect it is if you slow down your shot speed on your jump shot creator. So now the question is, is it still like that after five seasons and many patches? Let's find out after these quick messages. So before we go to the next part, just wanna invite you guys to like the video if liking so far. And if you're new here, I'm Chutes and I do lots of detailed badge and stat testings. First week, I'm going to do stuff like, you know, speed, speed with ball, strength, acceleration, vert, and all the stuff you need to know on the first week before you finalize your build. And I'm doing this thing full time, so expect a lot of videos coming your way. Trust me, subscribing to this channel will be one of your best investment this year. So now going back, here are the comparisons. Top ones are from season five and bottom ones are from season one. And in here you can see there's no difference at all from push to release cues. You gotta keep in mind though that in a perfect world where there's not much latency, like on offline modes, it's like this. But what about if you go online? Are the relationships between the visual cues and shot meter remain the same? Like will the visual cue for release will still be with the ball at the fingertips? Let's find out. So there are two major things that are happening here that you must know. First one, of course everything will be adjusted based on your latency. So for example, instead of jump cue to be somewhere right after the jump, it'll be delayed up to this point. And the relationship between the visual cue and shot meter on release will be here instead on the fingertips, which is crazy. Now for the next one, which I think the bigger issue here, everything is not accurate. 
on both of these clips I was using push so sometimes the end of the meter will sink here and sometimes it'll be here and keep in mind these shots here came from the same session probably just some seconds away so the fluctuation on latency can cause you all these crazy things on your visual cue and shot meter so if ever you're wondering if your visual cue mechanics were changed from season to season they were not Maybe your latency was completely changed, causing you to mess up your shots. So it's a latency issue. So let me know in the comment section what you think about this or any other feedback. So that's all for the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.